Good morning, Quackcaptor101 here. And today's shout out goes to Amarella Droning. Amarella Droning was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus was a shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quackcaptor101 here with a review of a neat new airplane, folks. This is the KF Plan Z61 BF109 Messerschmitt. Look at this uh, little thing. Uh, why am I interested in this? First off, this is just a basic differential thrust airplane with the exception of it had, has added something, folks. If you notice here, we have a servo built into the airplane running back to the elevator. So this is in actuality a three-channel differential thrust airplane. I've never seen one before, folks. That's why I was interested in reviewing it. Now, it is powered by these two little micro or these two little uh, brushed motors, okay? This is not a brushless plane. It's a brushed motor plane, but, but you're going to expect to see that in this price range. This is about $40 to $50 price range, this particular aircraft. Now, this propeller on the front is fake, okay, folks? It's not connected to a motor. It's not really free spinning either. Um, it, it's hard to windmill, and that is good. You don't want this windmilling in the wind. Uh, the reason being that creates more drag. Now, even without it windmilling, it's creating drag. So, you know, the, one option might be, folks, if for some folks to consider, I ain't going to do it for this first test flight, is maybe possibly, you know, if you don't like the performance of your particular aircraft, remove this decoration piece on the front here. Uh, that will le lessen the drag and hopefully improve... Uh, uh, the aerodynamics of the aircraft <laughs> by removing that propeller, but I'm not going to do it and uh, For your first few flights. I recommend you not do it either. Okay, leave it on there just to see how it flies without that Okay, so I mentioned this is a three channel aircraft for beginners running in the 40 to 50 dollar price range Those are hard to find folks uh, the closest that we're seeing these days is maybe these four channel warbird series Okay, which this is kind of emulating but uh, those are much more <laughs> Uh, much more abilities in this particular aircraft, and I'll talk about those abilities here shortly. And they're quite twice the price of this particular aircraft, so keep that in mind too. Now, it is gyro stabilized, this particular aircraft. What does that mean? That means that the motors will uh, vary their speed in case it's pitching left or right to maintain um, um, even roll on the aircraft. It also has angle restrictions going up and down um, with the at elevator. Um, that's one thing, folks. You cannot turn off the angle restrictions on this airplane. So that means you can't do manual manual loops with this particular aircraft. You can do loops, automatic loops, by pressing this button here and telling it to loop. And then that will override momentarily the uh, uh, stabilization system but to do it manually you can't unfortunately even in the high rate i tried that now it does have two rates low and high rate and what that does folks is that varies the amount of pitch angle that you see on this elevator going up or down uh, in beginner mode it's kind of just a little bit of movement and in expert mode in you know, the second uh, push it gives you a lot of uh, angle on that particular rudder but again uh, even so, <laughs> you still can't do loops because once once you start pitching up, that elevator is going to automatically start pitching down to try to keep the aircraft level um, without pressing that stunt button. So, okay, I mentioned gyro stabilized. I forgot to mention it only weighs fifty eight grams, folks. That doesn't that means this does not require registration in most countries. Okay, so um, you can fly this in most countries without worrying about uh, getting in trouble with your aviation authorities there. Hopefully. <laughs> Now, I mentioned it has auto loops. Again, that's activated by pressing this button here and then pushing back on the stick, and the aircraft will automatically do a loop. We'll um, uh, uh, demonstrate that when we get out in the field and fly this. It is powered. Now, the power that comes with this, you can get either two or three of these. These are little 350 milliamp per hour, 3.7 volt batteries. They're predicted. Okay, they're advertised. Let's just say they're advertised. They give this aircraft up to 20 minutes of flight time. I find that hard to believe, although the Warbird series could fly about 15 minutes uh, on a 400 milliamp per hour. We'll see how well this does on uh, 350. Um, I'm guessing about 10 minutes, but we'll see if we can get 20 minutes as advertised. Okay, let's uh, talk about uh, what you get in the package. You get the instruction manual with the aircraft. You get the aircraft itself, the little three-channel uh, aircraft itself. I forgot to show you the belly bay of this. This is where your battery goes in here. Uh, in that area there, and there is an on-off switch included with this. And you see, can see that the receiver is also built in there uh, with the flight control board. And I'd like to angle my antenna down about 45 degrees. That tends to give me best reception when I go flying, so you might want to consider that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. When I got this out of the box, 
this servo was jammed all the way forward. When I plugged in the battery, it stayed jammed. What I had to do was manually uh, push it back to this position here. Uh, remember this position. If you get one of these, you know, it's almost straight up and down. Instead of all, it was pushed all the way forward, folks. That's that's not right. And that was jamming the uh, elevator all the way down. And uh, again, I had to manually twist it with my fingers here to get it to that position. And then after that, it, it worked properly. It wasn't working properly before. It was just jammed downward. So keep that in mind. So um, again, you get the aircraft. You get two or three batteries, depending which version you get. Um, you also get a battery charger. This is the battery charger for those little batteries. You get one spare set of propellers for the aircraft. And this is a propeller puller. And for those of you unfamiliar with a propeller puller, you slide it in between the uh, uh, propeller and the motor and push down. And that pushes, wedges, it wedges the propeller off. Uh, those are kind of hard to get off. <laughs> Usually I use a, a um, butter knife, but these work well too if you get one of these. And you get the controller. Let's go over the controller real quick. Again, I mentioned this is your stunt button. This is your rates button that uh, varies the pitch angle on the elevator. Throttle, there is no uh, yaw control via the left stick. It's on the right stick. This varies the pitch or the uh, speed of the motors to give you right turn and left turn. And what that does is it increases the speed of on one side of the motors decreases the speed on the other, and the aircraft will turn. That's how that works. And this is your pitch angle for the elevator. And the buttons on this is your on-off button. It does have elevator trim, so if it's pitching down or pitching up, you can adjust it. This is downward trim. This is upward trim on the elevator. And it also has a yaw control trim. If the things, if the aircraft's turning uh, uncontrolled to the right or left, you can counter that to uh, straighten it out with these two buttons here, these trim buttons. So that is the controller and is powered by three AAA batteries. So that's what you get in the box with a BF-109 from KF Plan. Let's take this thing out into the field and see how it flies. So hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to Pleasant Ridge Park. Beautiful day here in, in Gerard, PA, in Fairview, PA. Um, it is a little bit breezy, though. we got about a 5-mile-per-hour wind coming from the lake down there. We'll see how well this flies in that wind. Okay, I already have this uh, battery plugged in there, so to start this up, all we need to do to turn it on is turn on the on-off switch. It has an on-off switch, and put it on a flat-level surface or relatively flat, and turn on the controller, and you have to bind it with it up, down on the throttle like that so we should be bound testing the motors we got that testing the also testing the elevator now let me show you this okay this is the stabilization system see how it pitches up when you pitch down on the nose of the plane and opposite when you go like that and giving it throttle see how or giving it pitch up see how you can't turn that off and going into high rate we're going to high pitch up and it still, you know, counters it. So the only way I think that you can do loops with this, again, is by um, hitting that this button here and giving it a little up pitch on the uh, right stick. Anyways, we're ready to go. Let's get it in the air see how it flies, folks. Hope you enjoy this flight. Giving a throttle. Well, it's fighting that breeze. Let me pitch it down a bit, though. It needs downward pitch to fight this wind. More down, there we go. Okay, let's try a turn going downwind. Okay, and let's go to no, I'm gonna keep it in a beginner for now. I'm gonna bring it down, but yeah, that that is uh, elevator is actually working quite nicely with this. Coming around the other way, this is a very gentle plane, folks. <laughs> I'll give you that the way it's flying. Let's go to higher rate. Oh, banks, banks harder. Going up, goes up like that, and then it can't fight. Uh, again, the um, gyro stabilization system kicks in. Whoa, <laughs> this is actually flying better than I, than I thought. I'm at mid throttle. Let's give it a. Okay, let's come downwind. Try that stun button. Uh, maybe I got to hold it in and pull back. Maybe go. I better go up higher though if I'm gonna do stunts. Going overhead. Pressing down the stunt button. I can't get it to flip, folks, or to roll, or do a loop. 
<laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> well, I don't think it can do it, though, folks. It just don't have the power. But it does fly nicely. I'm at high rate right now. I just want to see how... Can I stall it? I bet you I can, but we'll see. Oh, it's it's fighting it. No. It, 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 it's really flying well in this wind. I'm surprised at that, too, folks. Normally, a little two-channel plane can't fly. <laughs> Hit my foot. A <laughs> little two-channel plane can't fly in the wind. Go back to beginner rate. Beginner rate, it flies much smoother. But going back to the air. Yeah, this is a nice plane for beginners. Actually, really nice plane for beginners. Once you tune it up. Again, I had to give it a lot of downward pitch or trim. Its trim was bad. But giving it that downward pitch, it flies nicely now. It flies real nice. Okay, but again, you got an elevator control and... Okay, going to higher rate. <laughs> you got elevator control. I want to show you what you can do with that elevator control. It can fly up almost, almost. <laughs> Tried to get it to go up higher. Come on, do one of those. I'm pressing the stunt button, but it just don't want to stunt. It's actually not too bad. Not bad at all for what it is, you know? Again, this is the first um, differential thrust plane, toy plane that I've seen that has elevator. And that elevator really works well on this. Except they don't let you do um, loops with it, manual loops. Like the Warbird series, the mid position, you, with that you can um, actually do loops. But no, this one won't let you loop. I'm in high position, but <laughs> cool. I like this plane. So yeah, this would be a good indoor flyer. I'm giving it more and more throttle, folks. So I'm at three three position right now, or uh, full throttle position, just about. But boy, and it's fighting the wind. That's a big bonus for it too. But yeah, I give, I'm giving it more and more throttle here, folks. I got a feel we're going to about to run out of, of uh, power on this. Nice little plane, though. Now, if you took that fake propeller off the front of it there, I bet you it would fly even better. I bet you. Because <laughs> that's creating drag. Parasitic drag, just not doing anything for that airplane. It's just for dis display. It makes it look cooler. That propeller makes it look neater, more realistic. But boy, I'm surprised how well this thing, the whole thing can fly. Now, again, when I got it out of the box, that uh, elevator was stuck. That elevator servo was stuck, fooled on. And I just had to manually take my finger and turn that servo and bring that elevator up to a usable position. <laughs> But once I did that, the elevator was working fine. But it was stuck. It was stuck down. Let's bring this in closer. So I'm just going back and forth doing figure eights here in the wind. <laughs> With this BF-109. Okay. I think we're almost out of gas here. I'm giving it more and more throttle, folks. But yeah, I it's I haven't been able to do a loop with it. It just you know I press the button and pull back on the stick. That's the way I think it should work. <laughs> but it's not doing it. But I'm in high rate right now. Yeah, I got to give it more and more throttle to stay in the air. Why don't we just fly it until that throttle, until I can't stay in the air. But boy, is the, the wind is going again by five miles an hour. I'm always flying on breezy days, folks. It's because I'm next to Lake Erie. <laughs> I just can't avoid it. Can't avoid flying without wind. <laughs> Neat airplane. I like this. It's a, the price is right on it. Well, if they bring it down a little bit lower, I guess more people would buy this one. 
But uh, yeah, this is about half the price of the warbirds. But again, you, that elevator is working well on this, keeping it stable. I'm going up higher. Going up higher. I'm just about to, to uh, stall right there. I'm going up higher, going up higher, because I want to glide it. I want to see a glide. It's gliding right now. Gliding, gliding, gliding. Cool. <laughs> Did it well on this breezy morning. Yeah, best time to fly is in the morning, folks. That's with the least amount of wind, but uh, least amount of wind. Oh, what the heck's that up there? Looks like a big piece of cotton or something blowing by. Okay, gliding again, coming down, coming down. <laughs> Neat, <a, laughs> Neat little airplane. I kind of am, am enjoying flying this thing. Just bouncing it in the wind, hovering it in the wind. Let's let's hover it in the wind. That wind's picking up. It's just hovering. Oh, it's stalling, stalling. Okay, giving it more throttle. Coming around, coming around, coming around. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah, surprisingly, this little differential thrust thing flies very well. And if only it could do stunts like it's advertised to be able to do. Mine won't. <laughs> I tried pressing that button, holding it down. Nah. Neat. Neato, neato. <laughs> I like it. I like this little airplane. <laughs> Got me. Oh, that's the first time. <laughs> now, again, if this was nitro, I'd be severely injured right now. <laughs> but it's a toy airplane, folks. You can't hurt yourself with these. You really can't. <laughs> Maybe if you hit yourself in the eye, shoot your eye out. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm full throttle, folks. That's, that's it. I'm... I'm Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. There's no LVC on this. So I'm going to be calling it quits here just to save the battery. I don't think there's an LVC on this because I'm full throttle. <laughs> so we're going to call it quits, turn it around, come into the wind. And we're going to call it quits here and call that its flight time being at full throttle. So that's the BF-109. That's its flight time and safe flight time. I'm sure I could have gone down to 20 minutes if I drained the battery all the way down, but you don't want to do that with a LiPo, folks. That destroys LiPos. So once you're at full throttle, it's, it's time to consider turning it off. So that's the BF-109 from KF Plan uh, Z61. Nice beginner's plane. Nice beginner's learn to fly plane. I kind of like it. Very well done. Um, the only problem is, you know, it doesn't do the loops as advertised i tried um it just wouldn't do it okay the uh um what do you call the stabilization angle restriction stayed on for the pitched even though i pressed that button so i'm sorry maybe i was doing something wrong but i i think i was doing it right so that's the bf 109 hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 quadcopter 101 signing out Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.